Today what we're going to talk about is uh, getting a little bit more extra power out of your saw by simply uh, doing a muffler job. So this is an 026. This is uh, probably an early 2000s, late 80s, early 2000s saw. But uh, what we did here was we went on eBay and we found the cheapest piece of shit muffler that I could buy and then we took a piece of three quarter inch copper tubing it was actually a copper coupler for three quarter inch pipe and I dremeled that out and put it through here we cut the front of the baffle out and uh, JB welded it in the back and we're going to put this 026 saw up against a stock MS260 with a stock muffler that still has the uh, spark arresting screen and the whole nine yards in it this saw uh, probably was made uh, 2012, maybe 2010, somewhere in that ballpark. So whether or not they've changed the design much over the years, um, I'm sure they have, but I don't think the engine designs changed much because all this stuff is pretty much interchangeable. Like the cylinders are interchangeable. Uh, one big difference is on the 260 is it has a decompression valve. And on this 026 here, it does not have a decompression valve. Um, both saws work good. We actually just had them running so that we wouldn't have to fight with them too much to get them running here for the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, cut a couple of cookies off this log here. And uh, we're going to compare the saws and uh, see how they work. Now, in all fairness, we just touched up the chain on this saw. Both these saws have uh, 0.325 pitch chains and 16 inch bars that was a brand new chain uh, we did a little bit of cutting around the house cut down some lilac bushes and stuff I didn't get it into the dirt so I thought I'd just leave that one alone we touched this one up so what I'm going to do is throw on my hearing protection and my safety glasses and uh, we'll see how this goes here That's chains biting in pretty good. <clears throat> now we'll see how the uh, 026 works.
Okay, well, let's be fair here. We did sharpen the chain on the other saw first. That is some hard crotch wood right there. That is not your regular log. I'll admit, even though I thought the 026 sounded a little better, the uh, 260 cut better. But uh, there's always one way to figure that one out. Too. Disappointment. The uh, 026 chain was maybe a little dull. It sounded good, but the, the MS 260 kicked its ass. So uh, we went and he touched up the chain a little bit. And we got this log over here. It's not very big. It's really not even a fair test for these saws. They're, you know, a smaller saw, but that there is meant for a much smaller saw than that. So we're just gonna, again, same thing, couple of cuts with each. And then I just happen to have here uh, this King Kong saw that I built uh, from the Chinese kit. And this saw has got a couple of mods, uh, mostly just a plain cylinder, uh, Nicosil, and um, I think I did a little couple of clutch mods, and uh, that was about it. The saw works great. It hasn't done a lot of cutting yet, but what we're going to do is we're going to bury it in that great big log over there uh, at the end of the video and uh, and see how it works. But we're again, we're just going to. Uh, run the uh, MS-260 and the 026 here. So, it's gonna put, uh, let's get this in the right order here, guys. Safety glasses and ear protection. So we'll start with the 026 this time. And we're just gonna cut a couple of slices off. This, we just uh, touched this chain up, so it should be fine now. Some pretty good chips coming out with that one. And we'll fire up the MS260 again. I'm honestly thinking this saw still is actually uh, cutting better than the 026 over there, even with the muffler mod. This is a good saw. <clears throat> now, just for fun, and because I know everybody loves to see wood cut on the end grain because of the shavings that come peeling out of it, I'm going to take the 026 and I'm going to put a cut right here. And then I'm going to take the 260 and I'm going to put a cut right here. We're going to go about halfway just so we can make a big pile of shavings, right? Because it's kind of cool. Try the MS260, same cut.
it's kind of weird. It bites in. I like. I don't know. I, I, I kind of think it's it's almost a toss up. Uh, this one, it, it's what really needs to happen is you kind of need to use the same bar and the same chain on each saw just to you know be certain. But uh, the 026 is a great working saw. The whole premise for the video was, hey, if you want to do something cool, you know, you can't really use this for cutting wood. If you're working in a commercial environment with no spark arrestor screen or anything like that, you're breaking the law. So we didn't uh, destroy the original muffler. We bought a cheap one from eBay and just jammed it together for fun. But uh, I don't know, you guys be the judge. It's a fun little project. The saw makes a lot more noise. It's kind of cool. I mean, what, what do you want to do? But uh, thanks for having a look at the video, guys, anyways. We're here with what I affectionately like to refer to as King Kong. Um, I'm just a little guy, and this is a heavy saw. They were great saws. They make them a lot lighter now. The MS-461 is a fantastic saw, and probably four, four pounds lighter than this one. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this big old bugger and we're going to try and cut a slice off this log here.
that there works pretty good that's a tough working saw I think I'm pretty happy with that that's the first really big wood that saw has been into and uh, throwing some good chips anybody looking to make some tables for their place outdoor tables they work real good for that until they split all the hell but... thanks for taking a look guys it's back here at garage you guys have a good day Have a good one.